it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on an off the mat assembly project. The character is Sam from Cannon Busters and I'm super excited about it because she is the last of my eight characters showcasing the curated cardstock selection um, for skin tones. So and I, I'm excited because it's really hard to find the right color uh, for a skin color, everything else, it could be a little bit different, right? But it'll still be Cinderella's dress. Um, but I feel like with the skin colors, it is distracting if you don't have the right one with the right texture and everything else. So I'm super excited to have this curated collection and let's get started. So, all right, I already put, this is the background. The background is 27 inches by 27 inches. So it's large and your Cricut can't cut it. So what we had to do in design space was basically slice it up, right? Into pieces that you can actually cut on your Cricut machine. And now that it's sliced up, we need to put it back together. So it's like putting back together a puzzle to make one big piece, right? So, all right, the way I do it is I always take two pieces at a time and I'm gonna pick one up and kind of just, you know, push it against the other piece so that it's as close as possible. And what this does is it really helps hide the seams. Because for the most part, I would say, um 98 percent of the character is covered right because we have colors sitting on top of it there are a lot of factors that come into play in order to um eliminate or hide the seams as much as possible this is one of them which is pushing it up so that you don't have a huge gap and the seams are basically as invisible as possible from this standpoint i mean there obviously seems there's nothing that we can really do about it because we're making big projects but um it helps with image selection um it also helps using the grid of squares so that i do have that on my website and it's nice because it's it's an svg file so going forward you if you do any other off the mat characters or if you slice anything big really um, so I shouldn't say off the mat characters, but more just off the mat projects. Anytime that you're going to be slicing, you want to use that because the squares are all flush together. And that's another piece in making sure that you have a very seamless, pro seamless project um, as much as possible. Um, what else can I tell you? So image selection, cardstock selection, the colors that you're going to use is going to play a big difference as well. Um, all right, so let's see. We're just taping this down and I put her together yesterday. I don't know if you caught my reel, but, um, oh no, I didn't post it yet. Okay, so no, you wouldn't have seen it. Um, I always like to piece it together without taping or gluing it down. So just straight off the mat, what does it look like? You know, do I have all the pieces? Um, and she looked great. And so you can always tell when that part of the process looks good, it's gonna look amazing when you put in all your efforts to make it seamless. All right, so last piece. And the other thing with the grid of squares is that for the most part, I'm gonna show you again this piece right here. Um, it's easy, it's easier to put back together because you can see all four corners meet right here, right here. Um, and so it, it really is just a best practice. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna flip this over. Now, all our colored pieces are gonna go on top of this. So it's too big for you to see entirely, but now that it's all on one thing, I can move it back and forth so you can see it. All right, in another effort, to hide the seams, right? This is her face, and I don't know exactly where it goes. Um, I think it's something like this. And so there's a seam running through right there. Um, so I always like to duplicate this, the face and then contour everything out. So contour out the eyes and the, no the nose and the mouth. And then that way you have a black solid piece that goes like this. So now if there were any seams that would have run through the eyes or the mouth, it is now gone, right? So that makes for another seamless um, best practice. All right, so that's down. 
I don't know where that goes, so I'm gonna put it just right here for now. Let's put together her sweater. And her sweater is such a pretty color. This is like, um, I want it for my sweater. <laughs> so let's see here. So right now, I, I never recommend that we uh, glue it straight down because there's an outline, right? So we're putting it down to make sure that we like where everything is. And if we don't, we can still make adjustments and then we glue it down. And sometimes, you know, like I'm always adjusting a little bit. And then of course, once you tape it down, um, it, it still moves a little bit. <laughs> So um, you wanna you know, have the option of other pieces of trying to fix it to make it look um, even. There, that looks good. So her face actually goes down further. So uh, let me pull this out. So her face goes right here. It, the chin on lines are, oops, wrong piece. So in this case, there were no seams. Ah, oh, normally there's a seam right there, but we did a good, oh no, oh yeah, it's running through right here. So it's okay, we already cut it, so I'm gonna leave it, but you get the, you get the idea. Any seams like in the face is really, really distracting because that's the focal point. Um, so you just don't wanna stare into any, um, any seams right there. All right. Let me pull this out. Whoa. Sorry, I'm moving everything so it's closer. All right, um, here is her neck. And are you loving this brown? It's such a pretty, pretty brown. Um, all right, so her hair. I'm gonna start putting it up here. I'm gonna move this down a little bit so you can start seeing the rest of her that we'll be putting together. Okay. And you'll see the seams start to disappear because we're putting down all our colored pieces, right? And so that will hide all the pieces. Such a cute character. Okay, here we go. The other thing with the cardstock is I'm always a big fan of mixing the textures. So, and the mixing the textures and the different colors. So we have, you know, regular cardstock for the skin. We have um, glitter cardstock to make things pop out a little bit. And then she also has some like jewels. So I'm gonna show you um, the different the different card stocks that we used. And I think I'm working on a like sort of just like a mini pack of beautiful paper that you can't, you know, um, like some of the foils that I like to use, um, a couple colors of glitter cardstock that's really hard to find, things like that, and that's sort of like a starter kit. I don't know, let me know what you think, but I'm kind of, that's brewing in my head right now. So, oh, this is the gold, I love it. So this is for her earrings. This one over here. Okay. 
Now I use this file from the Salty Yankee. So you can see the pieces are perfect. They're big, but not too big where you need to slice it. Um, they're all in, you know, like nice chunks. So um, they're easy to handle and they'll be easy to glue down, which is what I want. And then we have two little jewels and this is a uh, blue so it's different than the green and there you have it there she is I mean she's gorgeous um, and all like very even so all you need to do is start gluing or taping it down. Um, I prefer to use Tombow's um, tape, like double-sided tape, because then there, it's not messy. Um, so I'm gonna use that because it's going on black cardstock, so it'll stick. Um, I just wanna make sure that up here is all good. And that's it. So we're going to glue down each one of the pieces and then let's make sure we're happy with the placement of everything. And I think I am. So I'm going to start turning it over and putting down each piece. So for instance, I'm going to start with, I don't know what I'm going to start with. <laughs> you can start anywhere. Um, you could even start with the earrings for instance. And then that way everything gets shifted, you know, like everything is in place. And I feel like this is really good. She's very balanced. Um, all right, so let's pick up this piece, for instance. And I'm going to use, I always have scratch paper on the side. Just gonna go so pretty. All right, give me just one second. was beeping and no one's turning it off all right <laughs> that's where I was I apologize all right here we go so this piece right here now I don't know if you guys have noticed I have been using barely art glue more for these projects and you know sometimes it's faster um I like it because it dries really quickly and it's easy to use. Um, but I don't know. I still I still like my my double sided tape. All right, so that's down. Okay. Um, can put down.
This color is so pretty. I just love it. I actually love all these colors. Um, with the eight characters, you're gonna be able to see like the range in colors and see what works best for you. And I'm gonna be offering the full selection and then a light colored pack and a darker color pack. And that way, if you know you're gonna be making specific characters, you might want a few more sheets of specific colors. So I'm gonna break the eight colors into four and four as well. So super excited about it. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. We're continuing on. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I am. I haven't worked with the Salty Yankee uh, very much, Kayla, but her, the three files that I have used have been amazing. This one and Canary were actually uh, custom, so I was able to tell her like what I was looking for. And so she made, you know, like the sweater, for instance. It has a lot of details, right, with the slits, but they're in pieces where I can cut with my Cricut. They're big pieces, but not too big, right, where we need to slice it. So it's like the perfect combination of, um, it, it was made specifically for an off the map project, which is not always the case, which you know, you have to slice, you have to, um, you know, even once you ungroup, you still need to do a lot of slicing or contouring. And this one, you basically ungroup and you're ready to go. So if you followed my design space tutorial, it was so fast between using that and using the SVG file for the grid of squares, I mean, the design space tutorial is like 15 minutes, if that. Um, so I absolutely just love it. I don't know if I can go back to just using a regular file after this. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about while we're doing this? Because this part's so easy. Um, we have a lot of fun things coming up in the new year. So I'm super excited. There's going to be a convention that I will be at. Um, I don't know if you guys will be going. Um, there are lots of fun projects for that event. And then there's this really cool fundraiser charity event. Um, sort of, oh, am I out? I am out. So give me a second, I'm gonna show you how to refill this too. So. All right, like that. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, so many cool, fun projects coming up, so just stay tuned. All right, so this is your replacement. You're gonna take out this little piece right here it's super easy. On this one, there's a little button right here to kind of break it apart. And one up here. So this just comes off. You can see it's the same piece as the replacement. Wait a minute. There's still tape on here. Hold up. I think I was just stuck. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Put this back over there. I'm not wasting tape. There was still tape in there. <laughs> okay, so let me fill this up. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, lots of lots of really fun, exciting things coming up. Um, let's see what else. That's all down. This needs to be down. When you're using this though, you see how this piece is a little bit flimsy because it's there's just a little part that makes it attached to everything. So you want to hold this down so that you don't get you don't accidentally like pull off the piece and rip it off. Cuz then you would have to recut the whole thing. Otherwise, it's going to look like you have a gigantic seam. And we worked so hard not to have that seam. <laughs> And I like using the double-sided tape because you can see, even though it's touching the black uh, background, 
it's not down until I press it down. So it gives me room to kind of, you know, like make my adjustments, which I like. And then I'm pressing it down. Once I press it down, then it's then it's down. Um, and lately, I think I have carpal tunnel. I haven't gone to the doctor. Um, so my my hand strength is not there to like cut. So you'll notice that when I do the foam board section, um, but also like with the placement, my hands are a little bit shakier than usual. So I sort of need between using barely art glue, you know, you can still make a little bit of an adjustment. Um, and now this, I'm gonna fold this up because I don't want the sticky part to get on my beautiful cardstock. It's, you know, with the light color cardstock, that tape will get on there and I'll show, so. All right, so that part is all down. Um, the earrings are down, that's down, this is not down, okay. And move this up. Um, let's do the face real quick, this whole piece, okay? I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. And let's get another sheet here. I'm gonna put this over and I'm gonna get all these little um, pieces. And again, this part is delicate, right? Like this thing is barely hanging on right here. So when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I'm holding on to this part right here so that it's not going anywhere. Okay, just getting it all over. Um, I want to get this part, but I want to lift this up and I want to make sure I'm holding on right here before I do that. Okay, so this is just going on my black piece. I'm going to move this out of the way. down well <laughs> all right I'm gonna put it back down um, the and the papers the cardstock that I'm using are all um, 80 or 100 pound cardstock so you can see it's not so flimsy um, it can handle the tape and the glue and it's just perfect I love it okay um, I put a little bit of tape here because this part got cut off. So I wanna make sure I'm going to put down, I'm gonna put it like this in the meantime. Okay, let's put down the eyes. And I'll use some glue just cause my hands are getting tired from putting, um, running the, the tape. So. We have a lot of fun Christmas projects coming up too. Um, new off the mats that I have not done before. Um, and incorporating some lights. I don't know, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna try to make it more, you know, like 3D-ish. Um, and I think you've been seeing that lately from me anyway, just like a little bit more like with Frida and her spinning earrings and things like that, so. Um, all right, let's get this down. Now, a lot of times when I'm using the glue, I also like to, um, wah. Okay. 
My hands are getting really tired. Um, I like to put something heavy on it so that it's drying flat, um, just so that there's no curling whatsoever. Oh, geez. I just got glue all over. And worst case with these pieces, if um, you can always recut and put it right back down. All right, let's do the eyes on this side and then we'll be done with the face. I always like to just go back and give it one last press. These are big pieces, so you they're big pieces and I'm using glitter cardstock so it can handle the glue really, really well. She's coming to life. I love this part. Okay, so there's her face. And it's gonna go down like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back down. And this is a big enough piece. Um, I'm gonna put it down like this. She's so pretty, huh? <laughs> I love the colors. Her eyes are popping out. The skin color is just like, it's so rich. It, um, I love it. All right, let's do this little piece. This big piece of hair, I'm going to put just glue on it. I know, I'm now I'm going back and forth. I'm basically giving my hand a rest from either squeezing the tape or in a different way, squeezing the glue bottle. I've been wearing my hand brace. I know I need to make an appointment to see the doctor. All right, here we go. So with something like this, I always have like my uh, sunglasses around, my sunglass case. Um, and I usually have like a battery pack. <laughs> so something heavy. All right, is this down? This one's down too? Okay, this one's not down. So I'm definitely gonna take a break and not do the foam board on as part of this video, you can catch any other character for that, or you can catch the second part of this. I just won't put it on right away. Um, all right, so that's down. I'm gonna smooth this down a little bit. I'm just pressing it down, making sure it stays down. All right, so beautiful, I love her. Came. Okay. Now we'll do these little pieces right here. Let's do, let's see, that looks good. I'm gonna do this top portion. Put 
actually. I'm gonna put this big battery pack down and my sunglasses down to keep it down. And then let's do this little piece right here. Let's see. We can do, we'll do the jewels. Let's do this. Alright, we'll do this side. So you'll have to tell me in comments what you think. You like this character, you want to see other fun, cool characters. Um, oh no. And if you like the break in things, because before when I did off the mat, I would do it from beginning to end. And not that I'm skipping, because I don't want to, I don't like to edit because I want you to be able to see like all the mistakes that I made and how I go about correcting it. Um, so that's why I don't like to edit. Um, so in this case, I don't feel like I'm editing. I'm showing you all the steps. I'm just not doing every single step of the same thing. So hopefully that makes sense and you guys are happy with it, but let me know what you think. And you know, I can always go back to what I was doing before. All right, so we only have two more pieces left to glue down. And that one, it's the two pieces of hair and that's it. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. And you just let me know what, if it's okay. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me. And let me know what you want to see. All right. Talk to you guys soon.